Hello everybody. Um, I want to give you a short or longer update on my Ender 6 because much more people have problems with stringing and yeah, I can proudly say I don't have any problems with, str with stringing. Um, I solved them all and with some crazy or unnatural settings. I want to show you my last print. This is a wireframe skull uh, or pencil holder from Sing Universe. I just wanted to try out my settings and yeah, this is fucking great. Um, yeah, what did I change? Firstly, software. Um, I will show you a picture now. What I did, mainly on the software, caused by my hardware ch uh, settings, but I will later on go that, um, is 2.5 millimeter retract distance, pretty short, 15 millimeter per second speed. Um, I have no retract at layer change and no Z-hop when retract. That point caused a lot of stringing with my printer. I deactivated that option and wow, I made stringing cones, they were, I have standing one here. Um, yeah, this is the cone I did, so there was a little bit stringing from my last cone on the top, but I already solved it because there was the um, retract distance at 2 millimeters and these were too short. Yeah, um, what did I did on hardware? Um, for my last video, you know... My position of the extruder motor, this is by far the most valuable change I did. Um, because it saves me so much bowden tube. And you don't have to change no cables. You can screw it by two screws in and yeah, that's that's the that's the major update I did. Um, I also kept the guide. I like that. I printed out another version um, because on the 3D printer you want to have 3D printed parts, but keep that away. Um, this thing, what I did here on my zip tie thingy, <laughs> works so fucking good. Um, it works better than any printed part ever. Um, the second update I did shortly after that, um, I changed the Bowden tube. Now it's a Capricorn Bowden. Um, I length it very, very sharp. So when I move the extruder in the least corner, you have tension on it. So, but we want to be honest. Um, when the fuck does the printer print in this area? That never happens. So I want to be realistic. Uh, most of the time I'm printing in the middle and then the bowden is long enough or short enough. Um, the second or the third thing I changed, but I mentioned it on my video, is my cable management. Um, I did Bowden and cable management in once, or in one step. Um, I'm not happy at the moment because the holes don't fit from the screws. I have to reprint it, but I tested this thing for about yeah three days now, some prints, and it worked pretty good. This doesn't move and the Bowden is pretty good guided at this point. I also have to fix it, but then it's good to go. This was the third change and the fourth change I did. I think not a lot of people noticed that. Um, I was a little bit surprised too when I found out that, but you can see I have to sit down because I have to go under the extra now. Um, I changed my fan. Um, all Ender 6 users know it. This originally fan is so fucking loud. Um, it's louder than the whole printer itself. And I changed it to a Noctua 12 volt um, with a step down module. I put it in in the electronic cases uh, and I cut away the, the fans because it makes so much turbulence. Um, this causes a lot of noise. But what I felt when I put it on that 
air was flowing out here and here and going onto the nozzle, going onto the print and yeah, this shouldn't be happen because all air what should be go on the nozzle and the print is there coming out of the fan from the side and not from this one. No? So what I did, I printed a little plate that makes this room here tight. So it's not tight anymore. This is my second attempt. Um, it's not fitted pretty well. I have to move it a one millimeter uh, to the right, but I will make that today or tomorrow. I don't know. But when I make my fit, uh, feel the finger on the air here, there is nearly no air coming out of out from the from the fan. So this makes it even better because sometimes you have some problems with stringing when you have too much air at the nozzle. When the filament um, cools off, it strings instantly, um, even before the retract is happening and then you have your string. So this could be maybe another major improvement, I don't know. Um, I made no test with or without it, it just yeah, annoyed me. I didn't like that and so I changed it. Yeah, um, these are my improvements. At the moment I will link my profile um, from Kura and yeah, still going strong guys. See you. So guys, I have to say a few more words. Um, I've read a lot of Facebook posts. I didn't comment it that and I saw some YouTube videos and a lot of newbies posted their problems. Ooh, my print is not sticking correctly to the bed. Um, I have stringing issues. Yeah, this happens. It's okay. That's normally. But then there are these printer experts who say, change clipper, make an e-step calibration. And yeah, guys, this does not solve your stringing problem. This is maybe one step to improve, um, make it better but not to solve the problem and yeah to all the newbies out there don't listen to these guys listen to your own mind and start by the small things by the easiest things to check and one simple point I have to say it again I know a lot of people <laughs> don't want to hear it again but level your bed I do it still by paper I don't recommend Beal Touch because it makes it too easy. A lot of people trust too much in these things and get problems and issues with it. So what I do, make my, take my paper, make my Z home and level my bed with it. And the same with the stringing issues. And firstly, I check all the settings and retracts in my, in my slicer. I check my temperature settings. Um, I make a lot of test prints with different um, retract settings and I figured out okay what is going what doesn't work um, yeah I don't have an e-step calibration my extruder motor is running stock all I did is changing the position and that's all no e-step calibration it's running perfectly as you see so go away with your e-step calibration um, when I want to improve it more or make better extrusion um, with flow rate thingies, don't know. Um, yeah, then I'm gonna do an uh, E-step calibration. But I don't play around with the firmware or even the whole electronic boards. No, guys. This printer is running stock pretty good. And needless to say, I'm disappointed that a lot of people out there think... Okay, I have to change the whole fucking printer and it works perfectly. So don't then don't buy it. Okay? This is something I'm very, very curious about. You maybe notice it. So guys, all the newbies, all the guys out there, keep it easy. Start with the little things. And then you can go on, on E-step calibration and anything else. Then do it. But yeah, I have to say it again. Keep it easy. Check your retake settings. Level your bed. Don't do anything crazy to your printer that doesn't work and yeah, 
I just have to say it because it annoys me so much.